Well, hello again and welcome to FEFT and more with Charles. Yes, fantastic English fluency tips and more. The more is, you know, sometimes I talk about this and that and the other and you get uh, English tips in a new context or in a story or some other subject. So you can keep looking for the more as long as you're watching. However, I want to go to some specific English tips on how to use the word there today. By the way, there are many new subscribers and I'm so glad and thankful that you have been finding value when you view these videos. As you know, there are several, I think over a hundred videos up now about the English language and tips in different scenarios. Please look at them and see if there are any there that you would like to get tips from in your English journey. Yes, do give us likes, do subscribe, tell a friend, and turn on your notifications so you'll get more of these fun videos when we put them up for you. Now, here we are. Let's get right on to our subject, the word there today. Okay, there are many things I would like to say about this, but first of all, uh, let me refer to my notes to just give you a caption uh, about what the word there is. I'm going to read something to you. Please follow along. There, T-H-E-I-R, is the possessive pronoun, as in their car is red. But we're talking about the T-H-E-R-E -E word today often used as an adjective, a noun, an adverb, an interjection. As you know, an adverb uh, describes a verb or an a verb phrase, action words. Pronoun is uh, in place of a name or the name of a place. A noun is a thing, person, or situation. Interjection is an exclamation of some kind about a certain subject. And an adjective, of course, is describing a noun or a noun phrase. So let's go into these now. Let's look at the word there as an adverb first. Uh, let's have a sentence up here. Let's see this side better or is this side better for the sentences? Maybe this side, huh? Okay, as an adverb, look at this sentence, please. They went there to see the new house. What is there? describing went you see I always it tells you where went is so there to see the new house they went there okay uh, I'll just give you one sentence for each uh, example right now just to make it simple so you can grasp the uh, point here let's look at, at the word there as a pronoun eh well, this is short and sweet. Hello there. <laughs> yes, hello there. There is used in the place of a person's name. You're directing the hello, the greeting hello, to someone directly. You may know their name or you may not know their name. Incidentally, if you do not know their name, it's a good way to give a warm and friendly greeting to someone you do not know. It's not offensive at all. It's like, whoa, hello, hello there. Please use it. Let's go to the word there as a noun. Now this is a little bit difficult to understand, so stay with me so you can catch it. It's an interesting sentence, so I want to get it up here to you. There is no there and no here in actual space. Think of it. Space. What is there in space? Well, there is space. But how could how do you say there? Or how do you say here in space? It's just all there. <laughs> so there is. There is no 
there and no here in actual space. There is a noun of location, by the way. Let's look at it as an interjection. Ah, there, it's all done. You're exclaiming that what you are doing has been accomplished. There, it's all done. That's an interjection to bring attention to the fact that something has been finished. There you go. <laughs> and now let's look at there as adjectives, shall we? He is there to answer your questions. There is describing he, an adjective. He is a person, a thing, right? And so he is there. Where is he? Well, he's there to answer your questions. There is describing him, 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 the man, the person there. So, yes, the there modifies he there. <clears throat> so, are there any other questions? Are there any? You see how we use this? Are there any other questions or any other um, things you would like to know about the word there? Uh, do remember, there is singular and plural, can be used in the singular and plural uh, forms. For example, is there a light on? Question form, is there? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. No, there isn't, you would say, right? You know, in questions, the verb usually comes at the beginning of uh, this, the sentence, doesn't it? Question form, the verb is at the beginning. You could see that in plural also. Are there any lights on? Are there any red lights on? Any blue lights on? Are there any lights on? Yes, there are, or no, there aren't, you see? You answer in the plural, or you answer in the singular, whichever it is being asked. Well, there you go. We have talked about the word there and different ways to use it today and explained a little bit uh, about it. So if you have any more questions, please ask them in the comments below, and I'd be very happy to uh, extend this uh, e explanation about the word there. Most of all, please use it in your conversation. There are many ways to use it and many situations to use it in. So, thanks a lot for watching. Good to see you. Yes, do subscribe. Tell a friend about these tips. Yes, give us likes and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Remember to turn them on so you get new tips the next one in the next one we put up good being with you and do please take care and i'll see you next time bye now